To the end, Reverend Jerry Falwell continued to connect liberal beliefs to Islamic terrorism, such as blaming the attacks of September 11th on the prevalence of abortion in America. You know you caused a huge amount of controversy after 9-11 when you basically said that the Lord was removing his protection from America. I still believe that. I believe that a country that And that America probably deserved it. Uh, here's what I said. What, no, I said that the people are responsible uh, must take the blame for it. You did, we but you killing, went on to say what I've just we're said. We're killing a million babies a year in this country by abortion. And I was saying then, I'm saying now, that if we, in fact, change all the rules on which this uh, Judeo-Christian nation was built, we cannot expect the Lord to put his shield of protection around us as he has in the past. So you still stand by I that? I stand right by it. Radical opponents had long waged their holy war against abortion clinics. What the hell was that? Bombings, arson, assassinations that terrified many women. Uh, we do have one confirmed fatality. This bombing at a Birmingham clinic killed a police guard. In the mid-90s, from Boston to Florida, angry zealots murdered seven people, three of them doctors. The violence not only frightened a number of abortion clinics into closing, it also caused a public backlash. Can't be the yelling and the screaming and the uh, bombing abortion clinics and the marching outside and waving. It's got to be the soft but intelligent cell of the facts. As we talked that last week of his life, Falwell seemed to recognize that his battle to end all abortions would have to be won by the next generation of God's warriors. My children are more likely to see this, uh, this victory won than I am. I think we're 50 years away. We've got to just stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, and never give up.